two different disciplines of acting and people don't really agree with you and then you're trying to do, some people like to rehearse, some people don't want to rehearse, you know, it becomes this battle of who's higher on the call sheet, you know, and who's going to win, um, when really the point is to tell the story. So how can we find a common ground to work together? Yes, we come from different, you come from Meisner, I come from Stella Adler, whatever our discipline is, we're still here to tell a story. We still have to somehow memorize these lines. Mm -hmm. How do you want to do that? I've gotten to the point sometimes where I've literally recorded the entire scene, the other person's dialogue, and left space for mine, and then I rehearse against myself. I video, I tape it, and I play it in the car. When you're doing a big play, a lot of times that's what you have to do, because there's no way in hell you can, you know, it's, it's pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of dialogue. Mm -hmm. no. And there's no improvising. They don't like that <laughs> there. <laughs> you know, I think what she's trying to say is, and they're like, no, 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 could you just say now that, please? Could you just, it's Shakespeare. Could you go on and say Does anyone else have a question? Yes. Uh, do you prefer theater or uh, television? I have to say, I like the immediacy of theater and I like the discipline of theater to get to tell a story beginning, middle, end. Um, it's very visceral. But in television, um, again, it depends on the production, but like say for television or film, depending on who you're working with, it can be the best marriage of theater to a filmed experience. Comedies are like that because you're in front of a live audience. So you rehearse, 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 you block, you camera block, and then you perform. That's probably the best marriage for me. If, I, if someone said, what would you love to do? Say, I'd love to do comedies where I was in front of a live audience. Because you get the same sense of that immediate rapport with the audience. You know if a joke is working. You know if they got what you meant. And um, it's also kind of high wire, you know? So you can do take two, take three, take eight. In you know television and film, but you mm -hmm. can't do that in theater. You better have yeah. it. You better bring it today. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, it's probably the adrenaline too, when the crowd is laughing oh, yeah. with you, and you just want to keep going. Well, you know, what's funny is we we were working with uh, and John. Don't mind if I tell the story? Uh, when I was on Broadway, John Schneider, Dukes of Hazard, came in to play the Baron, and he went up on his lines one night, and he was like <laughs> on stage in front of fifteen hundred people. And the thing is, when you go up, there's techniques you use to get yourself back on track. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your fellow actor can save you. They can sort of say your line in a way, well, isn't what you meant, and give you the line in that way. Mm -hmm. They can sort of stall for you, you know, until you find the line again. Usually the answer is, like, if you go up, it's silence. There's nothing, no one's saying anything. And you gotta be okay with the silence till you remember what you meant to say. You can also literally say, line please. You can say that. Or your stage manager, who's off to the side following every line, will stage whisper to you, which the audience probably won't hear. Mm -hmm. But if you're not used to doing stage, and at that time John had not been on stage since he was 18 years old, um, he went like you do in television. God. Well, you can do that on TV. You can go to the flat, take two. <laughs> so what we did, all 40 of us, we went and got little post-its, and on the message board wrote alternatives to fall. <laughs> Please help me. I mean, you know, we had, we had, we had so much fun. But, you know, it's, um, they're totally different animals. Uh, I would say now that I've produced my own short film that I was actually acting in too. Um, I think film, if it's laid out correctly, kind of like the Woody Allen's way of doing something, where you're, you've written a piece that allows you to be in chronology. You know, they're the smaller, more intimate films where you're getting to do big blocks of the arc, like you might do in one day, 
more scenes that all happen in the same room, all happen in the same house, so you get some fluidity. There's something really amazing about the process of filmmaking that I've found very challenging and attractive. So as an artist, I'm moving more into the producing, writing side. As an actor, I'd still take theater over television and film because it's, it has a, except for being a little boring sometimes when you do it the same thing over and over again, there's a, a connection you can't really get on TV. Does anyone else have a question? So I'm going to ask you guys something. Um, we ascertained, for those of you who just came in, that with the exception of about two people, three people, oh, everyone else, is, it's new. Are, is it new for you? Have you ever done a convention before? No. Uh, we, yes, we've done multiple conventions, actually. So you've done a lot of mm -hmm. conventions. You've been, and you're in costume, I should hope so. I didn't think you just showed up today and said, you know, I think a costume. <laughs> and I dress like this every day. That's the other side. What costume? What costume? No. 